Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst towering mountains, there lived a renowned Zen master. People from far and wide sought his wisdom and guidance. One day, a learned scholar, known for his arrogance and intellect, decided to visit the Zen master to test his own knowledge against the master's renowned wisdom. The scholar arrived at the Zen master's humble abode, carrying a cup filled to the brim with his own knowledge. He approached the master with an air of superiority and said, Master, I have traveled many miles to meet you. I have dedicated my life to studying the scriptures and have gained vast knowledge. Today, I have come to challenge you and prove that I am wiser than you. The Zen master, a humble old man with a serene smile, looked at the scholar and replied, Welcome, my friend. I see you have brought a cup with you. How about we have some tea together? The scholar, puzzled by the master's response, nodded in agreement. The master slowly poured tea into the scholar's cup, but he didn't stop when the cup was full. Instead, he continued pouring, and the tea overflowed, spilling onto the table and the scholar's lap. The scholar jumped up in alarm, exclaiming, Master, what are you doing? Can't you see that the cup is already full? It cannot hold any more. The Zen master calmly replied, Ah, my dear friend, just like this cup, your mind is also overflowing with your preconceived notions, knowledge, and arrogance. How can you expect to receive anything new or gain true wisdom if your mind is already full? Before we can have a meaningful dialogue, you must empty your cup. The scholar, taken aback by the master's words, realized the truth in them. He had come with his cup full of assumptions, beliefs, and judgments, unable to truly listen or learn. He humbly acknowledged his mistake and emptied his cup, both metaphorically and literally, by pouring out the tea and setting the cup back on the table. With a newfound sense of humility, the scholar asked the Zen master, Master, I am ready to learn. Please teach me. The Zen master smiled and began to share his wisdom, imparting the teachings of presence, mindfulness, and the interconnectedness of all things. The scholar listened attentively, absorbing the wisdom with an open mind, free from the constraints of his own ego. Days turned into weeks, and the scholar became a regular student of the Zen master. With each passing day, his cup remained empty, ready to be filled with the insights and enlightenment that flowed from the master's teachings. As time went on, the scholar's arrogance transformed into humility, and his intellect merged with the wisdom he had gained. Through the emptiness of his cup, he discovered the vastness of true knowledge and the enlightenment that comes from embracing the present moment. And so the story of the empty cup became a reminder for all seekers of wisdom and enlightenment. It taught them the importance of humility, open-mindedness, and the willingness to let go of preconceived notions. Only through emptying their cups could they truly receive the profound teachings that would lead them on the path of enlightenment.